Right, I've come out to Mummy Orchard uh, permission. It's only a couple of acres. So, just uh, try this new uh, 5.2 art. Right, bring my first signal here. And, uh, good idea to switch that on. First signal anyway, let's have a look. There we go. Hmm, looks like a say now Monica read it. Uh, looks like it, but I don't know. There you go. First signal. Right, back to you now. Right, my next signal. I'm using 11 inch quail by the way. Uh, WS5 headphones. Uh, it's just a bit of silver foil right back to you in a bit 79.80 and I've just kicked the grass back and it's looking like well, I thought it were a bloody coin <laughs> how did I thought it were a coin then 79.80 looks like a coin though that doesn't it Christ I don't know it looks like some sort of a casing so it's back off a watch or what I don't know but uh, right, it will give me a sweet signal that <laughs> never mind right we're only just under grass right back to right I've got a 74 75 here still in oil I think yep Ah, some bit big look. There you go. Uh, looks like copper, copper strip. Right, all right. Back in a bit. I'm feeling oil's in beautiful and all here. Look, can't even tell where I've been. How's that for you? Right, back in a bit. Right, it's uh, 87 I think. Somewhere down here. Ah. Here somewhere, still in oil. Aye, right, there you go. What's that? Yeah, I thought that. I'd have thought that would have been a Chinese coin. We take square in the middle. It's like a wish here with a square oil, because that's where it belongs to. And that uh -huh. no idea. And that's what that belongs to anyhow, but looks at that. If it's hotels. Man. 
there you go that's why it's got a square oil square thing because of that so that belonged to it bit more bit of copper might be some more yeah sounds like there's some more in oil that's it out of oil there you go that's a bit of edge anymore No, that's it. Right, so we'll have base, wash your bit of side front base there, a bit more. Right, that's it. There you go. Can't tell where it was. Right. Back to now. Right, I've come back to the car. So I'm going to switch now to nine and nine inch and uh, small headphones. It's making my arm ache a little bit, and I don't want that. Right. Bump. That's that off. There's headphones. <laughs> right. Get back in there. They can wait there while I'm ready. Right, uh, turn that on. Go down, oh, go down. Hold on, let's go back. Turn it on, go into options, go down to coils, select, and go down to other coil. Right, that's selected, so back off. Right, so now all I have to do is turn this on and them on. Should be back in business. But I hate if I put them on right now. Quick as that, changing detectors. <laughs> Right, so keep on my favourite program, Red Hot. Right, back to the back. Right, first signal I only two yards away from the car, give me a 95, but it's only a right tiny pinpoint, so I thought, right, somewhat small. So I dug it, and there you go, tiny blobber. Uh, Aluminium, molten aluminium. Right, back to in a bit. Right, this could be possibly the same as last one. 95, 96. Let's have a look. Come on. 
Teraz się weź owo. Jep, nie jego. Don't ask me what it is, but it's a tube of some description. Possibly made of copper. Oh, I broke it. There you go. It is made of copper. Right, 7980 signal here. Yeah? Well, I've got some with here. <laughs> now then, now then, it could be a, um, no, it could be a malt trap. This. Oh, come back. Ah. Uh, Certainly looks like a mole trap to me. Yep. Knackered mole trap. Reason I had a feeling it was a mole trap because it's planted quite a few mole traps in here. But if there are mole in there, it's long gone. Well, uh, well rusted up and lot in it, so. I just want to spin in and win out fence up. Straight back to in a bit. What was this now? In the 80s. Ooh, have I got it hot? Yep, I have. I'm going to the slap and it looks like an heart. There you go. Heart shape. It's a good size, that. Must be a, possibly an os brass or something. I don't know. That's a beauty, that. Right, 89.90. Back to you know, right, I'm gonna have a sit down. I don't know what I'm near, but it, the detector's going by me. So, anyway. <laughs> That'll do. Yeah, detector. We crazy. Let me put it that way. There's somewhere there. Making it grunt like hell. Right, that's all right. I've got my seat now. But not going to be long, so it's looking like rain. I felt a few drops in air then. That, uh, I'm going to be covering, covering leaves this in another month. Oh, well, we've got autumns here now anyway, definitely. Winter's only around the corner, so I'll be getting my warm stuff on. But, uh, I'll just come down here just to check, uh, see if that 5.2 version at uh, New Day's update is alright. And I've gone through three uh, different uh, programs on machine, tried them out, tried different turns, you know, only for a few seconds just to try them like, see if they're alright. Everything seems to be working alright. 
uh, I put that round object down on the floor and I got I got above a foot uh, on most of the programs with it so it's not lost no depth anybody will say it's lost depth it's full of shit but you know me I see it how it is I don't think it's lost any depth anyhow I, just same as what it was but there might have been some minor things that 5.2 sorted out I know uh, now with 5.2 uh, you can uh, adjust different things with you just using your headphones without having remote uh, some say it's quieting it down I think it might have just quieted it down a little bit you know stabilized it because uh, my red heart is really 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 chatty but it seems to have just quieten it just a touch not a lot but uh, I think it's noticeably quieting it just a bit but I'm not losing the depth anyway I don't care what anybody says right so I'll shut up while Flynn now I get a little bit more detecting done and then I'm going home because I don't like getting wet me right back to in a right got a 72 signal here screaming at me piece of molten, piece of summit molten, oh, used to be a scrap yard on the other side of that fence, so down, down this end, you tend to get a lot of shite, but if you put up with it, there's buttons, buckles, coins, know what I mean, so it's worth having a go, I found a Roman coin on here, further up there, just up there, the other side of the bushes, uh, Roman Cistercia it, what, This what last place I ever thought I'd find a Roman but I did uh, Gave it to, to, to owners like uh, Chuffed to bits You could just make out bust you couldn't really tell who it was uh, Well some people said it was Adrian so I couldn't tell who it was like but I'm crap at Roman anyhow Anyway I'll shoot up waffle and I'll fill this oil in and I'll carry on back to you in a bit I'm going to 63 here but I know it's not what uh, I know it's not going to be a, a, a denarii Roman silver denarii that's what I usually get 63 so more than likely to be a button or something but uh, I get 63 off Roman denarii so let's have a look Come on. Break that bugger up. Uh, right. Oh, but it is a button. Nice, yeah, a bit of lead. There you go. A bit of lead. Don't know what light, but you may say numbers are wrong in the areas. Anywhere else about here I'd have, I'd have had my hopes built up <laughs> But not here ah, It's uh, quite a bit of ash in it down this end and all But it's alright, it's easy digging There you go can't tell where I've been. Right, back to you now. Right, just chucked third spade out and it's there and it looks like a button and it's what? A good 10 inch deep. <laughs> Lovely. Certainly yeah, looks like a button to me. Oh. Right. Oh, let me sit down.
Well, there's one thing. It didn't. Uh, it didn't. General service. Just give me a minute. I'll get you. Right, look at that for a shank. I would say that were an old button. That. Ain't a clue. Or a military, I would imagine. So a crown at top, and it looks like. I don't know whether they're two eagles back to back or what. But that is smart. I love it. Right, I'm just going to go to macro. Right, just zoom a bit. Well, I ain't a clone idea that. But uh, it's a beauty, I'm over at my way. Anybody that can ID that for me, please uh, please do so. Please comment. Right, <laughs> chuffed a bit, about 10 inch down. So tell me 5.2 is not as deep. What a bollocks. Right, back to you in a bit. Right, I think it's one of them tobacco jar lids. Not really sure, but uh, about what, six to eight inch down? Happy with that, it's heavy. Made of lead, definitely. Right, back to you in a bit. Right, I'm way back to the car, nearly there. I've got an 88, solid. Let's have a look in here. Well, oh, got somewhere here. <laughs> right, it's a brass hinge. Hinge off of a cabinet or something. Brass. That's why it gave me good eye numbers. But, there you go, non ferrous. Weighing. Other air front, it's not there anyhow. Well, that's it. Right, I think that's going to be the last oil anyhow. So, I'll be doing it round up when I get back to the car. in a bit. Right, I've had about an hour and a half and there you go. All that lot, bits of copper, brass, aluminium, foil and two nails that were dug in the same oil as some uh, copper as this. So, there you go. And then my big heart. And then a military button, my favourite find. I've yet to find that heart. And then I think it's a tobacco jar lid. Right, so that's it till next time. Hello. Right, uh, after it round up, I forgot to see you and all that shit. So, anyhow, till next time, be lucky, take care, and uh, I'll see you there.